hey guys welcome back to my channel click and create and for today's tutorial i will be teaching you how to trim your video once it's already uploaded in youtube so some of us uploaded some videos and we want to trim some parts of it but we don't want to re-upload the video so we can actually trim it without re-uploading so i'll be showing it to you in just one second so the first thing that we need to do is of course we have to go to our youtube channel log into your youtube channel and go to the logo and go to your youtube studio so once you're on the youtube studio you can go to the videos section on the left part click the videos and you can now select which video that you wanted to trim so in my case I'm going to trim one of my live streaming video so I will go ahead and click live here um, so those are my live videos click the live or if your videos are on the uploads so in my case I will be doing it on one of my live live videos so I'm gonna click live and go down to that video which is this one this is the video that I wanted to trim some parts. So um, all I'm going to do is to hit the, the pencil symbol here. And boom, there you go. So on the left side, I will have to click the editor button. So I'm going to click that here and it will lead me to the page where i can trim the video okay sometimes you have to wait so sometimes if your video is long like for example this video is an hour um long so it takes a while to load but i guess if your videos is just like 10 minutes five minutes it will be um faster so here it is now I am actually planning to trim the first part of the video. It took me a long time to go live, so I wanted to cut that part where I am still on cue and just, you know, start on the part where I'm already in front of the camera. So what I what I'm going to need to do is click trim. I'm gonna click that one. And after I click trim, it will automatically turn into gray which means that you can already start trimming a video and this part right here you can see a blue line and that would be the line that you need to move to navigate um, which part of the video that you are going to trim so there's two things that you need to understand the cursor the arrow cursor will change into two different shapes first it will turn into a cross like this once you point it on the gray line this gray line and what is this gray line so this is a line where you can move from side to side to navigate which part of the video that you are going to trim all right so once you click trim it will automatically turn into gray this is like a, a marking for you to help you remember which part of the video that you wanted to start tri trimming or to end so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the black line to mark so like for example this one so I placed the gray line, which is a mark that I'm going to start there. Now I'm going to start my trimming and the line that will help me trim is the blue color blue line. So when I um, point to the blue line, it will change the shape of the cursor from arrow to like this. It's like 
half cross it's like a T shape so once I point to the blue line and um, hold it right click and hold right click and hold and now you can start to drag to where you want the video to start or the marking is remember there's you can see the gray marking I'm gonna um, release the mouse and it means this part right here the gray part it means that from the beginning here from the start till here if I will hit save this part right here will be deleted now if I want to trim some parts in the middle of the live I can also do that um, I can actually trim or remove multiple parts of the video so what I'm gonna do is to right click and hold and then drag to where you want the video to trim which part so like just, let's just say I'm going to trim this part so so once I'm here I'm gonna release the mouse and so the marking is there right so we know that we're going to start um, trimming the video from there so next what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna use the edit trim but now I'm gonna use split right here so if I click split now I can see a blue another blue line which means that I can start trimming again so if I point my cursor to the blue line right click and drag here so let's say I'm gonna trim it um, until this part so now this part right here is grayed grayed out it means that this part will be removed or will be deleted okay and then if you want to add another trim you can always go here edit trim and then you know use the gray cursor to put a mark to where you want your video to trim for example here and then i'm gonna hit split so that the blue line will appear so we can start trimming see like here okay and then um right click and then drag up to where which part of the video that you wanted to delete and then you can start again if you want if there's more part so use the gray cursor to move again all right leave that mark there and then hit split again so now you can see there's a blue line and then you can drag again to where you want it to be and if you're done and you think that that's enough you already trimmed all the parts where you want to be removed and that's the time that you will here on the upper part so now the save button is actually gray which means you can't click or make a, a command it has to be blue so what's the trick the trick there in order for you to make the save button appear and you can make changes is to preview you have to click preview and -da! it's now color blue and you can already click the blue and make the changes right and then click save and this will appear it might take a few hours for your changes um, viewers will see current version so it's basically saying that um, it will take you have to wait for a few hours before it will change so you'll just have to save click save again and now here the video is 
being processed, then you have to check maybe an hour. So let's go back later. I'm gonna go back later and see if the changes that we made actually took place or it was saved. And also, I'm gonna show you how to redo. You were thinking, you know, you don't want to make changes anymore. You just want the original video and you don't want to trim any parts. So I'm gonna teach you as well how to um, put it back to its original video. Alright, so for now, I'm gonna have to wait for a little bit longer. So I'm gonna be back maybe in an hour. Alright. So right now I'm going to show you how to do a revert or to put your um, video back to its original form. So the first thing that you're gonna want to do is of course to go to your YouTube channel, open your YouTube account, and then on your logo here on the top right, click the logo and go to YouTube Studio. It's the same process as um, doing the trimming. And then on the left side, there is the videos so that you can find which video are you going to make some changes. So click on the video and there again, all your uploads are here and all your lives are on the live tab so in my case it was my live one of my live video that i did a trimming and i want to put it back to its original form so um, i'm gonna look for that video and there it is this one so i'm gonna click the pencil symbol again here and once it's opens, I have to go to the editor button on the left side. Click the editor button right here, and it will take you to the editing page, with, which is this one. So it's just taking a while to load again because this video was before. It was an hour, more than an hour live stream, but see, if you can see right now, it's only 49 minutes because we did the trim and it already did the changes. So I went back like, I, I think a couple of hours and um, the videos, I mean, some parts of it was already trimmed, especially the first part right here. If you can see, that first part that we trimmed was already removed. So since we're here right now, what I'm going to do to put it back to, to the original form, I'm just going to go to the three button, three dots actually. I'm going to go to the three dots on the upper right beside save button. So I'm going to click that and it has some options. So there's save as new and a revert. So we're trying to revert to put it back to its original form. So I'm gonna click revert right now. So once I click that, it will ask me revert to original. All elements and edits will be removed from your video. And then this change cannot be undone. All right, so then I'm going to click revert to original. And again, it says, here below that video is being processed please check back later so we're gonna wait again for a couple of hours to um, check if the changes has made so I think that's it guys that's how you trim some parts of the video that you have and if you want to put it back if you want to reverse or revert it then you can always do it as well so don't be scared you know if you think like you um edited a wrong part or you want to change your mind and you want to put it back to its original content or form then you can always do that so please guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe for more tutorials and if you like this video and if you want me to make more of this video please 
comment down below and hit thumbs up thank you so much and always remember that you have the power to create bye